What? Before we get into the video, y'all, I just want to say thank you for everyone who watched the last the Chiller's Art game that I played. It got 500 views. That's the most viewed video I have on the channel. So thank you for that. Also, thank you to everybody that subscribed, that's been liking, commenting, you know, sharing the videos. If you're doing that, thank you as well. Welcome back, Action Pack. Today, of course, no camera. Uh, again, video did well without it last time, so we're going to keep going with it. Anyway, so today's video, which is another ICER video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you don't know what ICER is, it stands for YCIR. You comment, I review. And today's game is the part prototype, which is a body cam for indie game by Hi. N4BA. Now, the first game I found was from 2018. So five years of horror game development with increased ratings with each release. In 2020, the team or person released Wrong Floor which was the launching point for the day. Yeah, and because of that, I'm gonna be a little more particular about the rating. Add your suggestion to the comment section. I'll get to it within some seconds. Andy Death, you know you better, cause the action pack don't keep it rocking. Alright, so of course we check for fun factor, you know, the settings. So right off the gate, I see we got settings. So that's a big that's a big plus already. Let's see as far as quality, how much we can edit. Only two of them, okay, okay, okay. That's something, I mean, it's something better than nothing. As far as volume, man, you got sensitivity, I like it, I like it, that's, that's enough. As far as indie horror games go, that's really all you need. Quality, volume, and sensitivity. Okay, so, you know, playing around with the settings, trying to make sure to get it right, make sure so that way the video records pretty good. I ran into a bit of a bug where the W key and S key were backwards. I don't know how that happened, but I ended up restarting the game and that fixed the bug. No problem. So that's not nothing too much to worry about. A little annoying, but not too much to worry about. And then we move on forward and we get to a switch, a light switch. Turn on the lights, make it a little bit better. Now I can see a little bit better. You can see a little bit better. And I'm also a little bit lost because I don't know what my objective is until I see this. Alright, there's a gun on the other side over there. That's how you open gates. I'm guessing this ain't gonna be the only gate I open. Now I know this game is already popular, but the homie CT, he told me uh Check it out. I'm not a big fan of. Alright. Okay, yeah. Okay, move now. I don't like that. Unlimited ammo. I do like that. Hey, bro. Hey, get out of there. All right, that was cute. Oh, that's backwards. Like, when I watch somebody play this, when I watch CT play this, I did enjoy the way the gun moved. Like, the way it just, like, boom, 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 boom. But as far as playing it, was it doing that? I don't like it. But maybe that's just something I need to get used to. So am I just trying to get out of here? Is that the thing? Alright, so after probably about, I'd say two and a half minutes, not having any indication of where to go, and I see that they were trying to use the lighting from a doorway to, to kind of guide you. To where you needed to go next, which eventually I, I saw it, but after I went back basically to the beginning, then came back and saw that area. 
then we moved on and then we have two options to either go downstairs or to go to the left to go to the left and then we don't know what to do next because the what we needed to do was pick up a flashlight but there was no like indicator to see because i was at least within like arm's reach of it there was no indicator to know that i needed to pick up the flashlight that's okay because we got another bug it's kind of a gem check this out there it is that's what it is Okay, there we go. It didn't give me any sort of indication that I needed to pick that up. Maybe it did and I just overlooked it. <laughs> Bitch! Almost popped his ass. Hey! Oh, hold on. Frames. Floating. Alright, the game crashed. That's one way to do it. That is probably my fault. Maybe we can start it back up and start where we left off. All right. So, yeah. That's how many? Three bugs, I think? Three, three, no, two bugs and a crash. So, uh, yeah, this is a, this is a record so far in ICER history. Two bugs and a crash for an indie horror game. Which I'm not blaming the developer mostly for this because I do have a old processor. GPU is fine, but the CPU is dog play. Now, get started back up, make our way back, speed running this, of course, and I just want to get you guys back to the point where we left off, because that's when the tension starts to really build, and I want you guys to feel that. Let's get immersed. Now, okay, so I'm just not gonna touch it. Wait for it to load. And then we keep moving forward. Okay, don't move backwards. That's how the game crashed last. What the fuck? Saving. Oh, okay. Close. Alright, so this is where we get into the nitty gritty, huh? This way. That's up. Someone breathing. There are multiple enemies down here, right? If I remember correctly. I'm not gonna act like I didn't watch any footage of this game. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I'm immersed now. I'm a little quiet. <laughs> Bitch! Reload. The fuck is your problem? Trying to run up on a player. Anyway. Let's see. What do we got here? Okay, keys. That wasn't difficult to aim at. I thought it was going to be very difficult to aim. But it wasn't that difficult. What 
about this way. What's up? Hold on, my hands are sweaty. Okay. Oh, this is the same way. It's just a wall. Nope. See? Okay. So this is when you know something is about to happen. Music just dropped. Let's see if it reactivates when I go back. No, it doesn't. Okay. Alright, wait. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know about this head movement. I don't like it. It's too snappy. Looks good, but it, it's... I don't like it. It doesn't feel good. Looks good, doesn't feel good. Somebody's not doing too well. Let's go see what all the hubbub's about. Okay, I don't need that lag. Do not need that. Yeah, that dude's in here, right? JK element on P. Um that work? Okay, so after dying that once, we end up dying probably three, I think it's four, four more times before something like I think my favorite death was. Because it was it was different from the others because there was an extra entity that I did not know existed there. And not gonna lie, I enjoyed figuring out how to navigate the room, finding out which areas to go to, which areas I can't walk behind, like a space between a locker 
big enough to fit a barrel between. Yeah, no, that space isn't big enough for me. So, <laughs> this ends up happening. Die once, then finally got adjusted. And we're at the end game from here. Especially with this being like one of your newer games. sexual okay so it takes about two clips to kill first guy second guy it takes about the same I don't know why he's still alive honestly That's what it was. What the hell? All right. Uh, you guys put up a good fight. That was fun. All right, let's get the heck up out of here, gang. Nope. Ultra snow nigga doing a dance routine while coming towards me at all. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that was a uh, depart prototype. fun for for a moment it was fun for a little bit probably for about 73 percent of the time it was fun uh, i don't like the snappy head movement it looks good but it doesn't feel good mm, as far as optimization goes could have been better of course especially with, considering you're using unity uh, unfortunately, what's going on with them right now isn't too great. But hey, you live and you learn, I guess. I hear they're supposed to be making changes, but back to what we're talking about. Um, on a scale of Scary Movie Five to Scary Movie Three, this is a Scary Movie. This is a scary movie two point six. Scary movie two point six. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's it's pretty fun. You you'd enjoy it if you played it. Um hopefully the link will be in the description if I remember to put it in there. Um go check it out. You might enjoy it. Which knowing most people who's watching this video probably already played it if you haven't well you're welcome um also you're welcome for the review this has been action if you're new to the channel obviously subscribe if you have a game recommendation comment and i'll review see you